When you see an injustice, do you speak out? When you see something that just isn't working, that's not going well, something that just is maybe wrong, do you speak out? Do you see that business could be done differently or organizations can be run differently better than what they are and do you speak out? Do you work to make a change? You know, change agents. So we love them sometimes, we hate them sometimes, depends on what they're trying to change. Change agents aren't always popular. They're not loved by everybody because they're going against the grain. They are changing the norms in society. They are working to make radical change sometimes. And sometimes change agents are bad. I mean, there are organizations in this country today that are fighting against the government and fighting against business. And I, they're, they're wanting to make a change, but it's not for the good. So, that gives good change agents a bad name sometimes. Sometimes we call change agents revolutionaries. You know, our country was founded by revolutionaries who went against the grain, went against the government of Britain, and wanted to make a change. And so, they're not always nice, and not being not nice in, in a bad way, but they're trying to make a change for society for the better. And I'm going to talk about making a change for the better. They challenge things. They challenge the normal way of thinking. They challenge common thought. They go against the grain, like I said. And a lot of times change agents are not popular. They're unpopular people because they're making it hard. They're making us uncomfortable because they're working to make a change. If you are willing to be disliked, to be unpopular, you can gain a power that most people don't even want to go after. If you're willing to put yourself on the line for a cause you believe in and go against the grain and go against people who will argue with you and yell at you and maybe hate you, you can attract to you a power that a lot of people aren't willing to step out and go get. Doing what's right is sometimes harder than doing what's popular. And that's what I want to talk about today. So the question I have is, can you stand strong in the face of criticism? If you have, if you see an injustice and you want to change it and you think it should be changed, are you willing? Can you stand up in the face of strong criticism? Can you stand up to the pressure to conform to the way society is and just let it go? So many people are So many people are afraid to stand up. So many people are afraid to stand up to correct an injustice, which is sad. You know, to be a change agent, if you see an injustice, if you see something that's wrong, if you see something that is it just isn't right isn't going well and and needs to be changed somebody needs to step up and say something sometimes you just need to shake things up so how do you do that how do you be a change agent first speak up if you want to change something or you're passionate about something that's going on or passionate about an issue that's going on it's best for you to speak up for what you believe in and prepare yourself to be disliked, even yelled at, hated, uh, what do they call it, canceled today? With this crazy cancel society, whatever that is. But if you are willing to speak up, if you're willing to stand up in the face of change, that's where you start. You need to speak up, because we need more people to speak up about injustices and wrongs going on. The second thing, speak the truth. If you're going to speak up, speak the truth. Have the courage to speak the truth even when you know people are going to fight against it, even when you know there's going to be a backlash. We see it in society today. We see it in government today, in politics today. People will stand up and actually speak the truth, and oh my gosh, 
the the torrent of hate and criticism and vile language that comes against them because they're speaking the truth. You know, when the truth is exposed, it, it'll roar back like a lion because they've been exposed. So don't be afraid to speak up and when you do, speak the truth. The third thing you can do, if you want to be a change agent, stand against something. Yeah, you can stand for something. It's real easy to stand for something when you got all these people standing for something. That's easy. If you want to be a change agent, stand against something. Stand against an injustice. Stand against a wrong that's going on and expose it. Stand against the things that make you angry. The systems, the prejudices, the injustices that you see that you'd like to overturn, stand against them. Speak up and speak the truth about it. If you truly want to stand against something, be a thought leader. Change the thoughts of people. Be someone who is speaking a truth that nobody else is maybe willing to speak yet. Because they're waiting for somebody, maybe it's you, to stand up and speak the truth. Be a revolutionary. Not to overthrow a government, but to change a wrong, to change an injustice, to change a system that puts people down instead of builds people up. Lead the change that you want to see. And when other people see you leading the effort to change it, they will come on board. The fourth thing you can do, if you're going to stand against something, you need to stand for something. You can't just always stand against everything. You've got to be for something. That's what really disappoints me in politics today. And you see it in every campaign, pretty much every campaign that's going on, every time it happens. They always talk about the other person and what they've done wrong and what they'll do to you. And they're always standing against what the other person says. Rarely do you see a politician who will stand for something. There are some. There are many. There are. But more often than not, they will stand against the other person instead of telling you what they stand for. Because on the surface, they probably don't stand for much. They stand for whichever way the wind blows today and whoever's going to give them a vote. And that's sad. So, speak up. Speak the truth. Stand against the injustices, but stand for something. If you want more for your people in your community, if you want more for your people in your business, stand up for something. If you want to see a change in your community, in your in your country, in your in your in your business, whatever, stand up for something. Be the one who will speak out for for the change. And then, the fifth thing, ignore the haters. Haters will always be there. Haters show up because they've been exposed. They've been exposed to the fact that they're wrong, that they are only out for themselves, that they are only out to hurt other people, haters will always be there. So ignore the haters. Ignore the haters and get on with what you want to accomplish. You need to be able to deal with the criticism because criticism and haters will always be there. Just because you don't please everyone doesn't mean to quit. That just means you're probably going down the right road, depending on what you're doing, but Stand strong. Be strong for what you believe in. Ignore the haters and keep moving forward to change an injustice that you've seen. So, the next time that you decide to make a change in your business, on your team, in your organization, in your community, in the country, in the world, it doesn't matter. There are so many injustices going on, so many systems that are broken, so many systems that just don't work anymore, and nobody's willing to speak up to change them. If you're ready to do that, if you're ready to do something big, you want to do something big and bold, don't be upset if people criticize you. Don't be upset if people call you names, because it'll happen. But stand in the face of the wrong. Stand in the face of injustice. Stand in the face of lazy people who don't want to change. 
Because if you're getting the criticism, you're getting people calling you names, and you're getting people pushing back and fighting against you, it probably means that you're doing something really, really potentially great. And that's what we need today in our communities and in our, in our society and our country. We need people who are willing to stand up in the face of criticism and do something bold and do something great for other people. So, if you're one who's been sitting there saying, I am sick and tired of, what's the rest of that sentence? Maybe you're the one that needs to speak up, speak out, be the change agent, ignore the haters, and work to make the change that you think needs to be made. This is Mark Schinner coming to you from the porch on a gorgeous Thursday morning. This is your Thursday thoughts. I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow.